Great social security news for those of us under the age of 60, which Sleepin' McGee is under the age of 60. Uh, they finally released the AWI, the average wage index for 2021, and it was uh, phenomenal, 8.89%. Let me just show you this press release from Social Security Administration, and we'll go to what this exactly means. 8.89% was the average wage index increase off of 2020. All right, so from, actually, did they give us a, yeah, right here. So here, so here is a show, uh, so from 2020, it went up from 54 thousand to 55,000 like 1% or something like that from 2021 uh, 2020 to 2021 went by 8 point what do you say 8 9 percent that's huge man huge now let me show you something that's uh everyone and their mom was like oh my goodness the, here's a cola cost of living adjustment for social security recipients well if you're under the age of 60 you're not a recipient all right so your earliest year of eligibility is when you turn 62 you get the AWIs, the average wage increases up until you're 60. And then from 61 and 62, from 60, the year 60 and 61, those two years, they don't give you AWIs or COAs. They just give you what your average salary was when they're calculating your AIME, which calculates your PIA, which you get at your FRA. Good times. I get it. I'm not going to go into all that here because I've done a thousand videos on that. But anyway, I'm 52. My social security benefit is going to be based on my average index monthly earnings. All right. The average index monthly earnings is factored on indexing, which is the average wage index. So the more they give me for my average wage index, the more my AIME will be, which ultimately leads to my PIA, my primary insurance amount. Good times. Anyway, so everyone and their mom's like, oh my goodness, this is what if you turn 60 in 2020, you could lose benefits. It never happened. It's just fear mongering. But so what happens here, not only. Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh boy. Fear mongering for 2020 was that if you turn if, uh, 60, if you were born in 1960, you would lose permanent social security benefits. It never happened like that. And even I told you that back in the. Uh, I did a video on that actually back in July of 2020, as a matter of fact. All right, so now we fast forward and people are like, well, the Social Security recipients are getting a huge COLA of 8.7. We don't even know our AWI increases yet for 2021. What were they? Now we know it's 8.89. Now, what's happening here is I want to show you guys something. So if you go to here, here's a COLA for 2022. Remember, COLA is future projections. Then again, all right, AWI is looking at the past. They're saying, what did the wage increase happen the previous year? So we don't know what the 2022 AWI increases yet because we're not done with the year 2022. So we will know. But their projections are, the Social Security Minister, the trustees project that the AWI increase in 2022 will be 6.5 even though we already know for sure what the COLA was for current recipients. Again, the COLA affects those who are on Social Security. If you're 62 or above, you are affected by COLA. Your cost of living for Social Security is based on COLA. If you're, under the, if you're 60 or under, it's based on AWI, Average Wage Index. And what you'll see is AWI historically is significantly higher than COLA. So, I mean, here four, I mean, again, these are just projections. We don't know, but... They're projecting it based on the past, recognizing that AWI has increased the average wage index more than COLAs. And you can see that right there. All right, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to look at cost of living adjustments, see what it was for 2021. All right, and I think we got uh, history right here. Uh, so it's 8.7 in 2022. In 2021, it was 5.9. All right, so even if... <laughs> If we got 8.89 is the average wage index for increase for 2021, that's significantly better than the 5.9% COLA as a Social Security guy in 2021. Again, there's two different people that we're appealing to here. One is current retirees receiving Social Security or eligible for Social Security. The other is that people are still laboring. All right, so now we got, if we go to AWI is 8.89 and we go, I miss it here. Uh, anyway, they're going to they're factoring is going to be six point five percent for twenty twenty two, 
even though the COLAs are 8.7. So we'll see. We don't know yet. But uh, the facts are the AWI historically has beaten Social Security COLAs uh, quite a bit. And having this 8.89% AWI for us, the people who are under the age of 60, that's a big deal, man. That's good news. And it'll be another 6.4% for 2022. And again, we're almost done for the year. We only got, what, three more weeks. Again, it doesn't really come out till October. Uh, that's a good deal as well. So, uh, so hey, we'll take it, man. Take anything we can. But Social Security is going bankrupt. It will never be there. Okay, send me your bankrupt Social Security check. Just make it payable to me. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.